Several people take supplements on the regular basis. But what they don't know is that some of these supplements can actually harm your thyroid. So it is very important to know about them. And this is what we are going to talk about today. Hi, I'm Dr. Anshul Gupta. I'm a functional medicine expert. I help people reverse their thyroid diseases. If you do like our videos, please like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much. Now, there are several supplements that people are taking for various reasons because either they heard they are good for their health or either they are supporting their body because of that. But what new research suggests that some of these supplements can actually be harmful for your thyroid. So let's talk about these supplements. The very first supplement which can be bad for your thyroid is biotin. So biotin is a supplement which is commonly used by several thyroid patients for hair growth. Very common symptom of thyroid disorders is either hair fall or hair thinning. And people are taking very, very high doses of this biotin. But what research suggests is that this biotin actually interferes with the thyroid blood test result. So if you're taking biotin, if you get your thyroid blood test results, it can actually falsely elevate your thyroid hormone. And it might seem that you have too much thyroid hormone in your body. Now this research shows that only people who are taking biotin in more than 10 milligrams a day, you know, that, that's what it shows that it can interfere with the test results. So you can take smaller amount of biotins, maybe like uh, 500 or 1000 uh, milligrams a day, that is perfectly safe. But if you take higher doses in that, that can certainly interfere with your thyroid results. So I don't recommend doing that. The second supplement which a lot of thyroid patients take is Moringa. Now Moringa plant is wonderful, it has a lot of benefits. But unfortunately, one of the downside of Moringa is that it interferes with the conversion of thyroid hormone. Now there is an inactive thyroid hormone which is called T4 that needs to be converted to the active thyroid hormone which is the T3. Moringa unfortunately interferes with the conversion of T4 to T3 and that's the reason it is not a good supplement to take, especially if you have a thyroid dysfunction going on. So that's another supplement that you should stay away from. The third supplement which can be harmful for you if you are taking an over-the-counter thyroid supplement. A lot of people you know, go to uh, different grocery stores and buy a thyroid supplement which has a whole bunch of things in it to support the thyroid gland. But there was a research conducted in prenatal vitamins uh, or vitamins for thyroid health, 51% of them did not label the amount of iodine that was present in them. And we know that if there is no proper labeling, then you might be taking too much of a particular supplement that can be hurting your thyroid. The other problem is that a lot of these thyroid over-the-counter supplements actually have thyroid medicine added to them. So again, that can definitely be harmful for your thyroid gland. So again, I do not recommend uh, taking an over-the-counter thyroid supplement unless you're taking it from a very good company and that can actually harm your health and harm your thyroid. The next set of supplements which are bad for your thyroid health is anti-acid supplements. A lot of people with thyroid disorders have acid reflux disease and they take a lot of over-the-counter anti-acid supplements. Now these anti-acids actually can interfere with the thyroid medicine absorption and that's, that's where it doesn't let your body to have full amount of the thyroid medicine that is needed. So that's the reason antacid supplements are not that great. It was shown in the research that even if you take antacid supplements four to six hours after taking the thyroid medicine, still it can interfere with the absorption of the thyroid medicine. So again, absolutely not kind of needed for you. The next set of supplements, which again can be harmful for your thyroid gland, is iron and calcium supplement. So again, lot of people with thyroid disorders have low amount of iron and low amount of calcium. And they have been prescribed these supplements to take to help improve these levels. But what they don't know is that again, iron and calcium can interfere with the absorption of the thyroid medicine. So they should not be taken together. So the good part about it is that, you know, if you take these iron and calcium supplements two or three hours after your thyroid medicine, then they don't interfere with that and they're completely safe. So make sure if you're taking an iron calcium supplement, you take at least two or three hours after you take your thyroid medicine. Now the last set of supplement which you have to be careful about is iodine supplement. 
so the iodine we know that supports your thyroid gland but too little of iodine can be harmful for your thyroid and too much of the iodine can also be harmful so we have to be in that middle window that supports the thyroid gland so the middle window actually is somewhere between 150 to 200 micrograms of iodine which research has shown that you know we need on the daily basis to support our thyroid gland but again you need to calculate this iodine by looking at all your supplements and make sure you're not overdoing it so as i said iodine is a great supplement but if you're taking high doses some people are taking 500 to 600 micrograms of iodine a day which is too much for the thyroid and actually can lead to destruction of the thyroid gland so make sure you're taking just the right dosage of the iodine supplement so you see these are all the supplements with a lot of people actually are taking on the daily basis which can be harmful for your thyroid health so i'll suggest to look at your supplements one more time and make sure you're not taking any of these so that then that you're not harming your thyroid gland i hope you find this video useful if you like our videos please like and subscribe to our channel thank you so much